Hello everyone, myself Dr. N. C. H. Ramgopal, working as Associate Professor in Mathematics in the Department of Humanities and Sciences, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. I welcome you all to the course Computer Oriented Statistical Methods. And today's topic is Regular and Irregular, Reducible and Irreducible Stochastic Processes. So today I am going to introduce Regular and Irregular Stochastic Processes also reducible and irreducible stochastic processes with examples. Coming to a regular stochastic process, let P be transition probability matrix which represents a stochastic process. In the last session, we have discussed about this TPM, the transition probability matrix. The matrix formed by the transition probabilities P11, P12, P13, 21 and so on. This is called the transition probability matrix. A stochastic process is said to be regular if there exists m belongs to n such that all the elements of p power m matrix are positive. So, as we have the stochastic matrix p, if we calculate p square, p cube, p power 4 and so on for some power m, p power m all the elements must be positive, then the stochastic process is said to be regular. The matrix is said to be regular and hence the stochastic process is said to be regular. And otherwise, the process is said to be irregular stochastic process. Otherwise means, if any some values of that uh, p power m are zeros, then it is irregular stochastic process. So, to check whether the given matrix is regular or not, we need to find the powers of P and we need to check whether all the elements are non-zero elements or not. First of all, a transition probability matrix will have non-negative elements and here all the elements must be positive. There should not be any zero element. But to check whether the given matrix is irregular, there is a simple condition that if there is at least one element in principal diagonal is equal to unity. So, if there is one in principal diagonal, then the matrix is said to be irregular matrix and the process is said to be irregular stochastic process. Let us uh, check whether the following matrices are regular or not. Here, the transition probability matrix P is given a 2 by 2 matrix. And this is the principal diagonal. Since 1 is present in the principal diagonal, it is irregular. Irregular matrix and hence the process is irreg irregular stochastic process. Similarly, in second example and third example also, we have 1 in the principal diagonal. So, these two are also not regular. That means irregular matrices, stochastic matrices. Hence, the process is irregular stochastic process. Now, coming to this fourth example, here the principal diagonal is not having the element 1. So, we cannot say that it is regular. To prove that the matrix is regular, we need to find p power m for some value of m and we need to show that all the elements are positive. So, let us calculate p square. How to find p square? By the normal multiplication, matrix multiplication, p into p. So, write the matrix p again here and multiply these two, you will get p square. And in p square, we have these two elements are zeros, whereas the remaining are non-zeros. Similarly, calculate p cube, which is p square into p. So, again, we got zeros into the same places. And in p power 4 also, we have zeros in the corresponding places. So, that means, if you calculate p power 5, 6, only that change in the elements occurs except these two positions. So, here these two are zeros. That means, all the elements of p power m are not positive. Hence, it is irregular stochastic process. Similarly, let us consider another example of 3 by 3 matrix. The trans uh, transition probability matrix is given. So, let us find p square. 
P cube. Similarly, we can calculate P power 4, P cube into P and so on. P power 5. Here I have given directly the matrix P power 5 in which all the elements are non-zero elements. All are positive. And hence, the matrix is a regular matrix and hence the stochastic process is called regular stochastic process. So, to check whether the given matrix is regular or not, we need to find its powers and the, the, all the elements of P power M must be positive. To show that it is irregular, uh, a simple condition is enough to check uh, whether uh, the principal diagonal is having the element 1 or not. If there is 1, simply it is irregular. And there is another example, draw the directional graph of the following transition probability matrix. So, here a 5 by 5 matrix is given. That means 5 states E1, E2, E3, E4 and then E5. Similarly, row wise E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. Let us denote E1 here. E2 here, E3, E4 and E5. Now, let us draw the directional graph. Directional graph this is known as the, the transition diagram. So, all these non-zero elements denotes that there is a path from one state to another state. If 0 is there, there is no path. Here this one indicates, here this one indicates there is a path from E1 to E1 itself. And 1 by 3 indicates there is a path from E2 to E1, E2 to E1. And then 2 by 3 indicates there is a path from E2 to E3. And then this 1 by 3, there is a path from E3 to E2 with probability 1 by 3, E3 to E2 with probability 1 by 3. And 2 by 3, E3 to E4, there is a path with probability 2 by 3. Similarly, this 1 by 3 indicates there is a path from E4 to E3 and this 2 by 3 denotes a path from E4 to E5, so with probability 2 by 3 and the last one there is a path from E5 to E5 itself. So, this is the transition diagram of the given matrix and coming to the next topic, irreducible stochastic process. Let us consider a transition probability matrix and which represents a stochastic process. And the definition is, if there is at least one path from any state to any other state, if there is at least one path from any state to any other state, then the stochastic process is called irreducible stochastic process. At least one path means in the directed graph or in the transition diagram, there must be a path from a node I to another node j. For example, if I have three nodes E1, E2, E3 or three states, there must be a path from E1 to E2, E1 to E3, E3 to E1. Then we can start from any node and we can reach any other node. Then the process is said to be reducible stochastic process. Otherwise, it is said to be reducible stochastic process. Otherwise means if there is no path between any two nodes. Let us check through some examples. Check whether the following matrix P is reducible or not. Here, a 3 by 3 matrix is given. So, that means 3 states are there E1, E2, E3 and again here E1, E2, E3. So, E1, E2, E3. Now, here this one denotes there is a path from E1 to E3, E1 to E3. Next, 1 by 2, E2 to E1, then 1 by 2, E2 to E3 and this one indicates there is a path from E3 to E2, E3 to E2. So, this is the transition diagram of the given matrix and let us check whether it is reducible or not. Reducible means there must be a path from any node to any other node. That means if I start from E1, I should reach E3. Let me check. So, E1 to E3, can I reach? Yeah, directly we can reach. 
Similarly, can I reach E1 to E2? Yeah, I can start from E1, I can reach E3, then again E2, yes. Similarly, if I start from E2, can I reach E1 directly? Can I reach E3? Yes, there is a direct path. If I start from E3, can I reach E1? So, E3 to E2, E2 to E1, yes. So, it is red, irreducible. Hence, this is irreducible matrix. The matrix is irreducible. That implies the process is irreducible stochastic process. Let us consider another example. 3 by 3. I can denote the states by either E1, E2, E3 or 1, 2, 3. State 1, state 2, state 3. Let us denote the states 1, 2, 3. Now, the principal diagonal elements, all the principal diagonal elements are non-zero elements. That means, there is a path from 1 to 1 itself, 2 to 2 itself, 3 to 3 itself. Next, 1 by 4 indicates there is a path from 1 to 2, 1 to 2. And 1 by 4 indicates there is a path from 1 to 3. Next, this 1 by 2 denotes the, there is a path from 3 to 1, 3 to 1. And there is no other non-zero element. And this is the transition diagram. Now, let us check whether uh, there is at least one path between any two nodes. So, if I start from 1, can I reach 3? Yeah, directly I can reach, directly I can reach 2 also. Now, 3, from 3 to 1 I can reach and 1 to 2 I can reach. So, 3 to 2 I can reach. Now, if I start from 2, can I reach 3? Since there is no path, direct path from 2 to 3, similarly there is no direct path from 2 to 1, it is not possible. So, we cannot reach state 1 or 3 from 2. So, hence it is reducible, reducible matrix and the process is said to be reducible stochastic process. Let us check some more examples, check whether the following matrix is irreducible or not. So, again a 3 by 3 matrix is given. So, 3 states 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Let us denote the states 1, 2, 3. Since all the non-diagonal elements are non-zeros, there is a path from 1 to 1, 3 to 3, 2 to 2. Now, this 1 by 2 indicates path from 1 to 2, 1 to 2. Then, this 1 by 2, 2 to 1, reverse. And this is 3 to 1. And this is 3 to 2. So, this is the transition diagram. Now, if I want to reach 3 from state 1, is it possible? So, 1 to 2 I can reach, but there is no path from 2 to 3. So, we cannot reach from 1. We cannot reach state 3 from state 1. Since there is no path. If I start from 1, I can reach 2, but I cannot go to 3. Hence, it is not irreducible. Not irreducible means it is reducible matrix. So, hence the statistic, uh, hence the stochastic process is irreducible. Similarly, consider the fourth example. So, again with 3 states. So, 1, 2, 3. And only 1 by 4 is there in principal diagonal. So, 2 to 2 is there. 1 to 2, there is a path with probability 1 by 2. 1 to 3, there is a another path from 1 to 3 with probability 1 by 2. Then 2 to 1, there is a path. And 2 to 3 again, there is a path. And here 3 to 2, there is a path. Now, let us check whether there is at least one path from any node to any other node. If I start from 1, I can reach 2, then I can reach 3 also. If I start from 2, I can reach 1 and then 1 to 3 is possible. From 3, I can reach 1 along 2. So, the process is irreducible. Since there is at least one path from any node to any other node.
Similarly, the last example, a 4 by 4 matrix is given, the transition probability matrix. So, 4 states 1, 2, 3, 4. State 1, 2, 3, 4. And here 1 by 2. So, there is a path from 1 to 1 itself with probability 1 by 2. And for 4 also the same. And this 1 by 2 indicates path from 1 to 2 with probability 1 by 2. 1 by 3, 2 to 1. 2 by 3, 2 to 3. Then 1 by 4, 3 to 2. 3 by 4, 3 to 4. And this 1 by 2, 4 to 3. Now, let us check whether we can reach state 1 from state 4 or not. 4 to 3, yeah, there is a path. 3 to 2, 2 to 1, yes. Similarly, I start from 3, can I reach 1? Yes, 3 to 2, 2 to 1. From 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. So, there is at least one path between any two pair of nodes. Hence, the process is irreducible. The matrix is irreducible and hence the stochastic process is irreducible. So, in today's session, I have introduced regular and irregular stochastic processes. Similarly, reducible and irreducible stochastic processes. And we have discussed some examples also. some examples also. This is for today's session and we will meet in the next session. Thank you very much.